<laughs> Are you all doing Ralph here, Ralphie Customs? Time for an end of the week vlog. <laughs> really need to start by saying <clears throat> excuse me a huge thank you to my friend Max at Swan Valley Machine Shop he sent me a lovely note I'm just reading it that's what I'm talking about enjoying the custom work on the bikes and trikes trying for being an interesting project and it is and it is um, so I've got a sticker Swan Valley Machine Shop Max Grant send me yours I'll send you mine it's gone on this toolbox, which it won't mean anything to anyone who's not in the trade, but I've had this box longer than I've had my children. And my children have got children. That's how long I've had this set up. So for me to put a sticker on, it's quite a biggie, you know, it, it means something. It stayed with me, survived two marriages, etc. Flood, famine, fucking pestilence. <laughs> so good on you, Max, mate. Fucking have a nice one. So the bane of my fucking life is still <laughs> underway. What a fucking, whose idea with this? That Pragmatic Lee, I'll link to him, he made one, and it inspired me to do the same, but fuck me, it's turned into a career. It's been going weeks, and I've broken more cutters than I've fucking made chips. So, you know, they don't actually make one, but if they did, I could buy it for a fuck of a lot less than I've put into this one. There you go, we'll get that finished. And um, there'll be a video showing... The, Showing it painlessly, um, seam, seamlessly stitched together. So we've been working on that. Um, we've been getting our alley welding skills back up as well. This yoke, I'm actually using it to rest a workpiece on, but it's that fucking thick. I can't, my welder won't do that. Um, I can try a bit of pre-heat. Failing that, I'm going to go and have it spool welded. So it's going to go off to a friend of mine. And sp I'll spool weld it probably using his kit or get him to bring it here. It's mobile-like, so that would be cool. Um, and we've been using a little Miller machine because the big one's been tied up with the fucking my lifetime fucking commitment to making that V-block. And it's proved lovely. I've really enjoyed doing it, um, what I'm doing on it. I've digressed a little. Got the frame bag from the blasters um, and I beefed up the headstock a little bit. I wanted to follow the line back if that makes sense so i put his plates in to to pull this detail back so um it fills it out a bit i'm just going to shape that now i've consulted with the uh customer got on your barney i'm just going to put a bit of shape in there and that'll be sexual and then it's off to the powder coaters that's been about my fucking week you know it's been a bit shit the compressor's leaking again. I need to fix that. That's on, on the jobs this morning. Poor Nicky's trike's not had a whisper of fucking love. I have got out on the Blue Princess. Me and my uh, beloved have managed to get out on that, which is fucking just makes life amazing. You know, the love of my life on a fucking red hot bike. Shit up. What I'm on with now is, first of all, these fucking carbide inserts, who knew? APKT, I think the, um, the hot, focus, fucking, yeah, I think the, the shape and everything else, APKT, someone will know more than me, it's not APKT, APKT, APTK, don't fucking know, 16 by 9 that is, I can't fucking get them anywhere. Came with a Chinesium cutter that I destroyed. I've since managed to save it with a clever bit of machining um, and a little bit of advice off our aid. So I'm trying to re-tip it because they're fucked. <sighs> anyway, the success story of the week is that I managed to get my um, aluminium welding head on enough through trial and tribulation to do this. I've 
I've, there was webbing across there, and I've machined it out, made the bottom flat, and got these pieces to go in. And then welded it up. I had a right fucking game, because A, it's a little bit thick for my machine, to be fair. You know, I'm welding maybe quarter up to, on a good day, with that 200 amp machine. Um, and it's fucking dirty shit, isn't it? You know what I mean? God knows what it's made out of. It's been chopped and fucked about with and all sorts of no, no disrespect to Grant like. Um, you know, it's his yoke. And he's kind enough to bring it to me to get the work done. What I'm doing now, I'm measuring out the holes for the risers. So because nothing's true, uh, this front edge has all been messed around with, so I can't measure back. What I've tried to do is follow a line off this casting on both sides and there's a slight detail on the back see this wobbly edge look that casting mark and that shows the ash factory so i've gone off there both sides and then i've gone off the edge of this hole across to the middle of the plate and marked them up so we've milled the bottom out smooth you can't really see many milling marks we've done a bit of die grinding as well to make everything fit We've then welded these plates in, machined it flat, and I'm going to drill out uh, 12, 12 mil clearance on the little milling machine. And that will have a quick deburr and probably a shot blast to finish it off. So, what we've done, we've centered dotted those marks on the yoke. You can see me look. Um, and we've used a, a strap. Clumping set strap to strap that down to the, the uh, bed. We've got a little stop on it to stop it turning. And uh, we've made sure with this, I use quite a big centre drill on this, and you can see the point really, really accurately. Um, so you can proper line it up. So we'll do that, and we'll just get that started. We won't go mad with it, but we'll give ourselves. Enough of it, something to go at, and then I'm going to switch it out to the 12 mil straight in with the 12 mil drill. Now, the issue that you have is when you make room for the 12 mil drill, this fucking wanders about all over the place, and you're going to lose where you're at to a degree, no pun intended. Um, obviously it's going to describe an arc, it's going to stay, this distance is constant, so that's not a worry. And with nothing more than a keen eye, you can soon tell whether or not your drill's left a bit right a bit, like Bernie the Bolt. Uh, not many viewers will remember the golden shot, but... We can do a burn in the bowl, and we can even just eye it all up, look, move it around, check on the side of the flute is where it goes with the hole that we've started. Look at your table to see if it looks square. You can do all of that, and then nip it up, run it up, and just touch on and see where you're at. I can see that I'm cutting a bit more this side, so I'm going to just. Tap, tap it, tap it, a little bit, and now we're golden, so firm sweep, into drilling, and away she goes, that's it. Now we're alone, let's finish the job off, because that's what separates us from the animals, blue. It's quite where you may have heard. We should be about through now. Any second. Now. Right. One down, one to go. And there you go. That's that done. Give it a quick blast. Maybe missed a bit here and there, but. All in all. Sorted, nice and strong, and I won't go anywhere. Nice and thick through where the riser bolts are going to go. They're in the middle of where I could get in the middle of because of these pinch bolts coming through. So, 
Perhaps you're jolly old. Sorted. And we've got these done. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm <coughs> proper out of breath. So we plus my dose out and give them a good dress up, nice clean up, ready to rock and roll. And uh, it just puts us back, do a little bit of alley welding, which is next on the agenda. And that's uh, coming there, I'm learning a lot. All right, we're getting there. Look at this. This middle one's, where are we? Middle one's first run. Forget this one. That one's crap. That's tips, Q-tips. Uh, one on the left is second run without letting it cool. One on the right, third run. And that's the difference heat makes, you know. There's no foot pedal with this machine. So I can't turn it down. I could tap the button, but it's not going to work properly. So we have to watch that heat. That's a nice run. That's a nice run. Yeah, it's not too shabby. And of course, <laughs> no V-Log would be complete without a bit of this, would it? Steady goes, steady goes. Last, but by no fucking means least, on this V-Log is the V-block jaw, parallel vice, parallel jaw, V-block, jaw of magnitude and beauty. Check out the video. It took two goes, because that's fucking machine the stock from round. Fucking hydraulic ram fucking steel. Hey, hey, what a fucking learning curve. Buy stock if you can afford it. The nearer the size, the better. Yeah. Use roughing mills and only take gentle cuts. Lock your fucking beds. That's, that's what I've learned. Four mil cut will do it. Lock your fucking beds. Use a bit of lube, hey? That's what separates us from the animals. So, there you fucking go. That's done. Check it out. I'm probably not manager link, but it'll be there on my channel. Go and find it. You'll see how I made it. And that should last me forever. Jobs are good. And thank you very, very much for watching. Have a wonderful fucking weekend, because this is Friday when I'm filming this. And, uh lots of love to everyone check out my friends in the description please go follow them give them a sub give them a like let's get that love spread see you later everyone